Hey everyone, my name's Chant, and welcome back to Planet Coaster. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at a chief beef shop that I made. Now, I didn't use an in-game shop and decorate it. I did not make a shop skin. I actually made a shop. Now, it's just for looks, but if in the future Frontier decides to add a feature where we can put, you know, an invisible area where people will go and shop from, then we can put that area into this little shop and it'll be a working place for your parks. Until then, this is just decorative. Now, this creation follows the food carts that I posted a couple weeks ago. And in that video, if you've seen it, then you may have heard me mention that I actually made replicas of the in-game shops and I, that I made a video on it too. But the video was a little confusing to watch because you didn't know which shop was real, which shop was mine, and probably pretty lame content overall. And I showed Johnny this and he said, eh, you know, it's cool, it's really cool, but It'd be cool if you had a shop that was, you know, an actual hamburger or a big giant donut or something, you know, with something with a lot of character instead of those boxes they have in game. And so that's what I did here. I found a picture actually from Planet Coaster from Frontier with this hamburger shop. Hopefully I'll have it on screen at some point. And I decided to kind of replicate it and put, throw, throw some of my own stuff in there because there's only one picture of it, you know, I can't tell exactly how it works. But that's the way I decided to go. So shout out to Johnny for not letting this creation die completely. So right now you see that I'm kind of creating my own base for the hamburger shop. I really wanted to use the hamburger buns for the top and bottom, but using it at the bottom, you know, it would cut through the vendor's legs. And I mean, unless he was really tall in the shop, it didn't make a lot of sense. So I did end up removing the bottom bun completely and, and customizing the lower half with basic shapes. Now I was really nitpicky here with the placement of the veggies and how high it should be, how tall it should be. I tried to make it as compact as could be and as realistic as could be. And what I mean by realistic is I just mean believable at first glance, you know, something that, you know, looks like it belongs. Most of my creations are not realistic. I never aim for realism. Um, so I just don't want you guys to expect that out of this project necessarily or any of my other ones. That being said, I did take the time to make a stove and stovetop along with an oven. I put little patties on top of the stove buns in the oven uh -huh. and um, you know hamburgers on the plates out in the front there's a cash register with some cash so I do pay attention to detail but I'm not going to claim realism here but it's these details that I'm really proud of and it's these details that I really love to do in all of my projects basic shapes really were the right thing to use for this creation the in-game hamburger bun and hamburger vegetables that you see there for the roof have this shiny texture to it just like the basic shape so I thought they fit pretty darn well. And much like the temple pieces I am obsessed with the new colorable panels that Frontier has put into the game, the basic game I believe, and um, I'm using the ones that light up at night for no other purpose than I prefer it. I There's no good reason for me to have done this um, other than it helps light up the shop in the evening. Throughout the build, you'll see that I put down several different items. I think the first one was a stove that I had done for the Haunted Dollhouse, and I created that for a Frontier competition. Um, I had to write a story with that one, and it's pretty scary. You should check it out. Uh, next, I put down, I think, the food carts, which, again, I built a couple months ago, or last month, and did a video on it just last week. And lastly is the actual in-game hamburger shop. I wanted to see if they showed the actual hamburger or what, and it turns out they just use little cartons um, that hold the hamburgers, and I didn't want to build the carton. It feels like a cop-out, so I decided to make the hamburgers themselves, and each one you'll see at the end, I kind of skipped the process because it took me forever to figure out how I'm going to put a little hamburger onto a plate. Yeah, it, there's about 12 to 17 pieces in each one. And I use candy canes and fireworks and lights. 
<laughs> to make these little hamburgers. Oh, right. I did put some cheeseburgers onto the grill, and to find the cheese was a pain in the butt. Basic shapes were just too big, and other things were just a little too clunky. What I ended up using was the triggerable plasma explosion. And pretty sure I turned them all off so your shop is safe. Um, but yeah, I just flipped it upside down and and cut off a little bit of it into the grill itself by just putting it at a slight angle and moving it down. And it created these perfect little squares of cheese. Now, because the base was curved at the very bottom, it did have some clipping issues with the sides of the stove poking through the back as well as the pillar that's holding up the roof at the back there had some clipping issues or rather not clipping issues but it was just kind of poking through unnecessarily so i really had to work with the items that i was using and make sure they didn't poke out the back you'll see i have a layer of cheese at the top and that again is the light up panel and while i wasn't recording i did add a couple layers so it doesn't look like they skimped on the cheese. So now customers can tell from far away that this is a quality burger place. Now earlier I mentioned that I removed the bottom bun of the hamburger and moved the floor down to ground level and it looks like I haven't done that yet but I will. In the meantime you see me finishing up the stove and oven which means that I have to change it all when I move the floor down. So I have to extend the oven to the ground. So not the smartest or most efficient way to build, but you know what, trial and error is okay. Now as for my choice for vendor, I use the policeman and a Metronic. But since there's not a lot of branding here on this shop, you don't really know it's Chief Beef. So I feel like he's a little bit out of place, but in honor of Chief Beef, I decided to keep him there. And you can choose whatever animatronic you want. When I started making this shop, it was actually a Missy Goods shop. I used the in-game donuts and in-game candy pieces to try to make a shop just like this, only for Missy Goods. The problem was the donut was a little too small. I would have had to custom make something. And I didn't quite have a design in mind. I just kind of thought it would come together, and it didn't. I had seen this picture of a cheap beef shop before on Google, and so I looked it up again and decided to change my Missy Goods theme to a Chief Bee theme. It's such a cool piece of concept art by Frontier themselves that I thought it would be really cool to have in-game. And now you can, kind of. It's not a working shop. Still, it's really cool to bring Frontier's concepts to life. This concept of making shops that aren't in the game is really neat, and I really enjoyed making this Chief Beef. If you're interested in seeing more creations like this, let me know in the comments below. I think that a hot dog squad would be a fun one to do. The color I used for the cabinets and the oven was actually a very important color to pick. I could have gone with the brown of the burger itself or this kind of yellow and tan to go with the bun. And it was a good decision to go with the color of the bun. It really just blends in, it does not stand out, you don't notice it, which is perfect because overall you just want to see the hamburger. You know, you don't want to see any pops of color necessarily that aren't meant to be there. Well, it looks like I'm just putting in the finishing touches. The cash register, the cash, the hamburgers, the cups. The interaction between customer and vendor. Now, building this chief beef shop straight after the food carts was a really fun experience. I feel like I've gotten a lot of practice from food carts, but still, this one was challenging because of its different shape and construction. I think my favorite part of this whole build is those tiny hamburgers that I made. It's kind of ridiculous the items I had to use in order for that item to look the way it does now. I hope you enjoyed this speed build video. If you like the shop and you want it in your park, the link should be in the description below. 
Thanks for checking it out, and I'll see you later. Bye now.